fool! You're a blind fucking fool! Wonderful! A veritable treasure trove! That's a perfectly good sock and an entire courgette! Well, I think you mean zucchini, Mrs. Thornhill. Just ignore us! Yes, don't mind us. Pretend we're not here. Okay. You're not Jock Cranley, are you? Actor and artist? I love your work! Oh, stunt double? Oh, our favorite show. Mrs. Thornhill! Snap! Watch the birdie! Oh, we pre pretend to throttle me. <laughs> yes, yes, like you did on that, on that poster you did. Yeah, okay, all well, that would be my pleasure. <laughs> oh. uh, like that, huh? Yeah. Oh. Like that. Maybe something oh. like this? Oh. Or like oh. that? Huh? You like that? That's enough, huh? dear. You like that? Oh! Oh! Ah. Oh! Please. oh. Hey. oh. oh. Thank mm. you. Wow, that's quite a woman oh. there, huh? Oh. We are not worthy. We're, We're not, not worthy. worthy. We're, We're not worthy. I'm, uh, I'm not Jock, uh, what's his name? Cranley. Big star in the 80s. We love celebs. That's why we came to Tinseltown. Yes. Yeah. Before we met you, we were trying to break in to Bruce Spade's house and steal his rubbish. The things these stars throw away. They're not like you or me. <laughs> Mrs. Thornhill has the most unbelievable collection of celebrity underwear and bathroom products. Things they've actually used themselves. You guys have a great vacation, all right? I gotta go. We could do with some help. All this climbing over walls and rooting through bins. It's such a business. Nigel's got an arthritic knee. Yeah. What do you, uh, what do you need? Just a few Vinewood souvenirs for my mm. museum. No, no, look, look, look at this map. I mean, a lot of these places have famous people living in them and some that are just hanging about. Bring us some things. I'd be very thankful indeed. Americans are the most wonderful people in the world, aren't they? The best! <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bald prick! If I don't get some gags, I'll be taking class. Quick! Go on! Go after him! Someone call the pound! And an ambulance! Chasing a dog! What is it with you people? 
Doggy, come on, doggy. Be good to daddy. <clears throat> gotcha, you little bastard. There, there. I know this is weird for all of us. You're gonna make a batshit crazy lady very happy. <sighs> okay, huh? Now get back to Jerry before she uses this as an excuse to go back to rehab. Shock! Celebrity newsflash! Maniac steals collar from Carrie McIntosh's dog in Rockford Hills! Oh, how delightful! Mrs. Thornhill will have me sporting that in the bedroom before the week is out. <laughs> oh, I, I, I joke, of course. <laughs> we really can't thank you enough for all the effort you're going to to make our holiday so special. Ah, don't mention it. I always enjoy meeting people more chemically unbalanced than myself. I bet I could hit your G-Shot every time. Hey man, no more autographs. Hey, that's okay. I want something more personal. Piss off, you twat, before I kick your ass. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful at guessing, aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. She's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo! Come on, get in the hot tub with me. I'm bored. 
I think that pill you gave me is wearing off. I've been watching you do laps for like two hours now. Yeah, okay, baby, just one more. Yo, that had to be a four-digit calorie burn. Really even definition. Yo, it is like I'm airbrushed, but I am not. How do you like me now, Chloe? I'm not kidding. Yo, this might be the best I've ever looked. Hurry up, tie-dye! I'm getting... Hey! Who the fuck are you? Yo, what do you think you're doing here, man? This is private property. Just pretend I'm not here, kids! Hello, this is Nigel. Please be quick, I'm roaming in the United States of America. It's me, you nutcase. I picked up some clothes from your friend Tyler Dixon. There's even a skid mark. What fantastic news! Wait till Mrs. Thornhill hears about this. Oh, she will be pleased as punch. We're gonna have some fun here. You can't drive! <laughs>
I said it, Mrs. Thornhill. I uh, persuaded Mark Faustenberg to donate one of his golf clubs to your Museum of Dysfunction. Oh, bravo! It will take pride of place on the wall above Jill von Krastenberg's pregnancy test. <laughs> Speak to you soon. I love Americans. You're all so brash and uncomplicated. Just a possession. Let it go. Now. Ah! 